Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to week three of No by November, hosted by Sabrina Kay, the country crafter. There are 30 ladies in this collab. Oh my gosh, there are so many of us. And um, it was really hard for me to sign up for this collab. Like I knew I wanted to do it, of course, because Sabrina's awesome and all of the people are awesome and all of you are awesome, but No by on purpose? So I have purchased up to today. Today is Thursday and it is Halloween. So happy Halloween to you guys. This video is pre-recorded, so I hope you guys don't mind me wearing the same clothes. Um, anyway, so for week three, we were to create a bag or a bag topper. So, you know, me, I had to just do every all of the things. I made two bags and two toppers. So we'll go ahead and get into it. I used the same paper collection. We killed a kit this collab, so that is super awesome. And I made all of my items, like I've said before in my other videos, all of these items are going to Michelle, and that was part of this collab. Sabrina wanted us to pay it forward, so it was the perfect opportunity to, opportunity to meet for me to create these items for my swap because, um, Sometimes it's really hard for me to do the big monthly swap that Michelle and I do, plus everything else that I like doing, whether it's my Facebook groups or swaps here on YouTube or just general happy mail. Um, sometimes it's hard and I get overwhelmed. So this was a perfect excuse for me to make items specifically for Michelle's uh, November box. So I made her two flat mail pouches this is the first one it says you're my cup of tea and I just used um, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper um, I did not measure anything I just made a pouch basically that she can slide anything she desires um, I like using these for mini pocket letters or pocket letters if you can fit them in there I can't fit my standard size pocket letters in these um, because mine are two-dimensional, but this is perfect for flat mail and flat mail is kind of all the rage right now So I thought this was really pretty um, paper I wouldn't normally gravitate towards this piece of paper in the collection I simply used it because we we're getting rid of this collection and there was one lone ephemera piece that matched it so I paired those together and I did use some wink of Stella in the darker parts of the roses and the leaves so just to give it a little bit of oomph I did distress all of the ephemera the belly band everything I used my old school fancy scissors what do we call these I don't know these are called family treasures it doesn't tell me but it's just a little scallop and I did that across the top and then inked everything so on this one same thing, we have a belly band, a doily. I loved this um, piece of paper. Ugh, it's so pretty. I've got to buy this collection again just to keep it. Um, another belly band, another larger um, ephemera piece. We inked everything and I did Wink of Stella again. Um, I used the gold kind of in these gold hearts. There are two. And then I used the black color one. Um, in the black parts and the gold on the gold gold on gold so those are the two really cute bags I'm super proud of those and I've just made the biggest bag toppers ever so this is the first one I had these amazing doilies in my stash and they are I want to say this is craft paper like pretty thick <coughs> excuse me pretty thick craft paper so um, in fact the way that they I don't know where I got them I need to find more though because I really like these the only problem is when you get them the the little holes are not punched out so I spent a lot of time punching out three of these because um, in my next video you'll see a third doily like this so what we did was 
I have the craft doily here, a white larger one, and then I die cut um, a scallop kind of circle out of this bird paper. Um, and then on the inside, I put myself a little, it's just a scrap of paper to the naked eye, but for me, because of the doilies, it allowed me to place hot glue without the doilies getting stuck together. So um, it was kind of just a brace, I guess, if you will. Um, on the front here, we used a sticker from the paper pad, and it says grateful. I'm sorry, that's backwards on the camera. Um, we used some cream and gold eyelash trim. These are Prima flowers that we all got um, in the most recent uh, Hobby Lobby clearance. And then I just added a little um, gold puffy heart. <coughs> So that is the first one. And then this is the second one. So on this one, I did the same method. So I have my little brace piece of paper inside. And the only difference here is I used a gold doily and I kind of set it further down. And then we have this really pretty burgundy um, ribbon. I just cut two pieces and then layered them so it kind of looks like a prize ribbon. Um, the same flowers, the Prima clearance flowers, and then this one says fall. And I like how the little bird is just kind of peeking out. So that is week three of the No Buy November collab. I hope you guys check out the description um, box below so that you can follow along and see everybody's videos. And make sure you leave some love on their channels and subscribe if you like what they see. Um, as always, there are like 30 of us, so you could totally binge watch that on a Friday night. <laughs> so you guys stay tuned for next week. Next week we will be showing a tag. So you guys stay tuned for that and I'll see you there. Much love.